Oh, hi there. Welcome back. We're right here. Oh. I think they're passing something around in the audience tonight. <laughs> Did you ever know, you know what it is? I think? I think there was just a full moon, was there? Yes. Last night? Last night. That's it. <laughs> mm. There was an article in the L.A. Sunday Times about that. They're still researching that because they, they keep finding that a lot of human behavior in animals and also humans changes dramatically. Don't, well, don't you believe it? There might be something to it. But, the, but somebody else made a test once and made some interesting findings. If people didn't know it was a full moon, they didn't seem to have that kind of behavior. In other words, if it was a, if it was a cloudy night and you couldn't see the moon, there was less incidence of strange behavior. If people knew it was a full moon and could see it, that's interesting, isn't it? So maybe the whole thing is psychological. People know there's a full moon and they go, mm -hmm. <laughs> or whatever they do. Anyway, as you can see, I have some magazines. Been here. reading, I can see that. Well, have you been to a magazine stand lately and you are boggled by the number of magazines that are on the market? And whatever your hobby is, there is a magazine for it that is absolutely true. I mean, there are big magazines like uh, Newsweek, People, uh, Time, uh, Harper's, Atlantic Monthly, Field and Stream, House and Garden. You know all of those, right? There's a magazine out, one of the most successful magazines in the country. What do you think it's called? National Lampoon. Well, that's a good magazine, too. National Lampoon is... Did you see, by the way, their Sunday supplement that they put out? Yeah. Yeah. National Lampoon put out a typical Sunday newspaper. <laughs> which is, uh, is an absolute parody of all Sunday papers in the magazine section. If you, I'm just plugging it because it, I hadn't thought of it until he mentioned it. It is hysterical. Go out and get it. It's called the National Lampoon. I think Sunday Supplement, right? Yeah. Hysterical. There's a magazine called Running. Right. It's a big seller. Yes, absolutely. Now, what kills me? How many issues? What can they say about running after about the third or fourth issue? <laughs> The articles on running, I suppose, injuries. I have a feeling that, that probably a lot of those magazines exist to sell shoes, yes. outfits, uh, shorts, socks, and so forth. Personal items. <laughs> and they're... Yeah. <laughs> and every city now has their local magazines. New York Magazine, right? L.A., Los Angeles, good magazine out here. Chicago. These are, these are all right. Lest you think there, lest you think it's just in this country, Budapest. Yeah. <laughs> Same guys from the, the National Lampoon are from Budapest. <laughs> that would figure. <laughs> if you are uh, uh, into aviation, wings. Uh, here's one I was not aware of, but it's uh, called Spray. <laughs> oh no. The Water Skiing Magazine. Spray. Hey, I can't show you the whole cover. This is called Swinger. It's, uh... I hadn't really looked inside that one yet. You see, have you ever seen the ads in that? You know, phew. Midget with bicycle chain would like to meet. Uh, Weird thing. Here's one, skateboard, skateboard. Here's one on rock music, cream. That's right. Here's one, you won't believe this, wet. The magazine of gourmet bathing. <laughs> this is not your highest, uh, this is not too much, but uh, worth looking. There's a, there's a the play guy. Absolutely. Now, mention the lady uh, with her dog. Pet magazines are very big in this country. Here's one just, this is a legitimate magazine, called Dogs. I'm going to read you some of the articles. Prevention, key to heartworm. <laughs> the Australian dingo. <laughs> this is September 78th. A city a dog owner's responsibility. Specialized magazine. Military modeler. <laughs> this has to do with people who make miniatures, mm -hmm. uh, soldiers, uh, equipment, etc. Ask Sarge. <laughs> Got a problem? Ask Sarge. <laughs> Lend lease armored car is one of the uh, articles in here. You wouldn't. Spinning wheel. This is a legitimate magazine. July, August, 78, a buck and a half. 
modern scrimshaw buttons. <laughs> you know what scrimshaw is? Made out of uh, yes. whalebone, right? Right. Scrimshaw. Uh, Early American military sheet music and re refinishing burl bowls. <laughs> Here's one that knocks me out. The Shooter's Bible. <laughs> hey, did you get your shooter? Yeah, Floyd R. Turbo. Floyd Turbo. I'm going to read you three articles from the Shooter's Bible, folks. <laughs> Bullets versus broadhead. Which is more efficient? <laughs> Tools for tolling turkeys. <laughs> Which holster for me? <laughs> Hysterica. Uh, those are some of them. You probably, the ones before you had heard of, these are a little more specialized. We found even some more with really special interests. Here's a copy of Hooker. <laughs> How to size up a customer? A magician's call girl discloses her favorite tricks. <laughs> Maybe I should explain these are some we think ought to be on the newsstand. Popular Nazi. <laughs> the goose step, better exercise than jogging? <laughs> Can wearing a helmet too small cause forehead cancer? <laughs> <That's in> <laughs> Meat. <laughs> Weird, weird items. Here's the way. Don't throw away those dead birds. <laughs> the latest in exotic meats, gorilla chops, squirrel flanks, and hyena ribs. Here's one that doesn't probably have a big circulation, but for those who have this particular occupation, the National Lighthouse Keeper. <laughs> Has a wonderful article this, uh, this month. 15 ways to excite an aircraft carrier with finger shadows. <laughs> How to tell when your attic is infested with crabs. That's the lighthouse keeper. Politician's journal. Let's see what's in here this month. Going to prison, first inquire about their tennis courts. Tailoring magazine. <laughs> Inseam. <laughs> How to measure a transsexual without giggling. <laughs> a musician shows you how to play You Light Up My Life on your zipper. <laughs> Here's one at the popular lumberjack. <laughs> Don't turn your back on a woodpecker. A practical joker tells how he set Bambi on fire. <laughs> this is, uh, just, there is, this, this is now is the mortuary uh, for mortuary morticians, the Undertaker's Quarterly, uh, Skull and Bones. This month's lead article, low-cost funerals using a wearing blender. <laughs> The latest in modern burials, disco cemeteries. <laughs> and the wino quarterly. You notice this here? How to make wine in your shoe. Is it safe to shave in a stall at the bus depot? Is one of the articles. And their, their big article. A confirmed alcoholic tell how, tells how he uses his liver to get his car started. These are just some of the magazines that you might have. This is the crowd club. I had a, I had a feeling this was the crowd for that, for that routine tonight. We have uh, Mr. Ilya Kazan with us tonight, Bess Armstrong, Bobby Kel Kelton, uh, Kelly Patterson, and Ardeth Evett, whom you'll meet in just a couple of minutes. So stay where you are. We'll be right back.